were the only choice. You were the perfect choice. May 2009, Leno hands over the reins of The Tonight Show to Conan O'Brien. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for watching. Please give Conan as much support as you give me throughout the year. Publicly, the transition is positive. Behind the scenes, tumultuous. NBC contractual agreements had guaranteed Conan The Tonight Show, but the network doesn't want to lose Jay to a competitor. Because he's number one. Nobody takes the number one guy off the air. It's the Jay Leno Show. NBC solution? Give Jay a show in primetime to save the network the higher costs involved in producing scripted dramas and keep Leno in the fold. It's a sound move, but for Jay it was not a sound move because he was doing something weird. It was not something the audience had ever seen before. It's nice to be back. I've been off the air for three months, or as most people in Hollywood call that, rehab. Jay's 10 p.m. show premieres in September of 2009. And while we're off, the government started this program to give people money for their old cars. I made five billion dollars. <laughs> Leno is back with his monologues and headline humor, but not all of his fans follow him. How bruising was it for Jay to have to go to 10 p.m.? It was kind of bruising for all of us because we had to figure out what to do just like that. And we thought we were doing a pretty good job at 11.30. <laughs> what do you think was the biggest challenge for him to succeed at 10? Well, it was, I mean, challenge is the word. A ratings challenge for the NBC affiliates, too. Their 11 p.m. newscasts start taking hits from the week lead-in. They were in a panic. So by October, they were ready to remove Jay if the NBC didn't. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to The Tonight Show with Conan O'Brien. Thank you. Meantime, Conan's ratings aren't meeting expectations. It was a huge transition from Jay Leno to Conan O'Brien. I mean, they're very, stylistically, they're very different. Their personalities are very different. Jay was comfort food. He was macaroni and cheese. You knew exactly what you were going to get. Leno had way more viewers, so they'd lost the number one spot. In an effort to stop the Tonight Show viewer drop-off, NBC asked Leno if he'd be willing to do a half-hour show at 11.30, pushing Conan's Tonight Show to midnight. Jay agrees, Conan declines. Then it became these camps, you know, the Jay camp, the Conan camp. Just the back scenes had become front scenes, and so it, it just was a disaster. When that curtain between reality and perception is torn, everybody feels uncomfortable. And that's a real problem for a host. The uncomfortable situation resolves when NBC pays Conan and his staff $45 million to step aside. Jay resumes his role as host of The Tonight Show in March of 2010. When he came back, was he number one almost no, automatically? There was a hangover, and, um, and it damaged Jay. What had happened ran absolutely counter to his brand, which is, you know, I'm not a hardball player. Well, yes, you are. You know, and of course they all are. I mean, you have to be a hardball player to succeed in that arena. Jay takes the criticism he receives over the controversy in stride. Yeah, you get beat up for a while, and you try to get your version of the story out there. And, you know, with all the serious things going on in the world, this looks like fun. Ooh, rich white people arguing. Oh, oh, well, that's a, you know, you got earthquakes and disease and rich white people arguing. That It gets people's mind off things, so it's fine. And points out... This was the decision NBC made. It wasn't, it wasn't the decision I made. You can't just snap your fingers and go, my TV show failed, I want that one. And it doesn't work that way. It's The Tonight Show with Jay Leno. Leno now sets his sights on reclaiming the late night ratings lead. In 14 months, he's back on top in the ratings, a position he's maintained ever since. The Lakers so bad, Chelsea Handler sent them a bottle of vodka and said, you need this more than I do, okay? That's so bad. Those who have worked alongside Jay attribute his longevity and success at The Tonight Show to his work ethic and relatability. He's a hard-working guy. You know, he's the hardest-working guy that I know. He was always gracious, always kind, you know, always had time to sign an autograph. And what he shows, that regular guy aspect of him, it's a guy in the jean shirt and the jeans, that's him. A regular guy approach that resonates. <laughs> Now NBC is betting on another good guy to carry the Tonight Show torch. 
Tonight, tonight. In a comedic duet last spring, Leno and Jimmy Fallon announced there's a new heir apparent. They think I can woo the demo. And everyone is on board. We're still friends, right? Yeah, of course, of course we're still friends. Keeping it friendly this time around seems key to both Jay and Jimmy. Jimmy has already learned a lesson from Jay, which is, you know, nice guys can finish first. You don't want to miss any of it. And after 22 years and thousands of shows, Leno is finishing as number one. What do you think Jay's legacy is? Two words, a winner. Mm. That's Jay's legacy. He, against people's expectations, always won. If you want to succeed in life, all you have to do is go to Jay Leno University. He could take a punch. The guy can take a punch. You know, he may go down, but he gets right back up. As for what Jay will be up to next? Whatever happens with Jay, I want it to be something that he enjoys doing and something that he wants to do. Porn done by people in their 70s and 80s. I'm 63 and I can't even keep hosting this show. What's, I'm going to Japan. I'm going to go to Japan and do porn. That's what I'm doing. Still drawing the laughs. It's a good bet this Mr. Comedy just may show up at a club near you.